In grade 12 analytical geometry, we have established that the equation of a circle centered at A, B, with radius R, is R squared equals X minus A all squared plus Y minus B all squared. Now we look at tangents to circles. Remember that a tangent is a line that touches the circle at only one point, the point of contact. A tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius of the circle at the point of contact. A tangent is a straight line, so you can find its equation using a point and the gradient. In the diagram, CBD is a tangent to the circle with the center A. CBD is perpendicular to the radius AB, so the gradient of the tangent M subscript CD times the gradient of the radius M subscript AB is negative 1. Example 1. Determine the equation of the tangent to the circle with the equation x minus 1 all squared plus y plus 2 all squared equal to 10 at the point negative 2, negative 1. We have one point on the tangent, which is the point of contact with the circle, so we just need to find the gradient of the tangent. Let's go through all the steps needed first and then solve the question. We can use the equation of the circle to work out the center of the circle. Then we can work out what the gradient of the radius is using the two points that we know. From that, we will know what the gradient of the tangent is because it is perpendicular to the radius. Use the gradient of the tangent and the point negative 2, negative 1 to work out the equation. We are ready to write it all down. x minus 1 all squared plus y plus 2 all squared equals 10. This tells us that the center of the circle is at 1, negative 2. Now we can sketch the circle with the coordinates of the center point and the given point. The gradient of the radius is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. This is negative 2 minus negative 1 divided by 1 minus negative 2. And that equals negative 1 divided by 3 or negative 1 third. The gradient of the radius times the gradient of the tangent is negative 1. Substitute and we get negative 1 third times the gradient of the tangent is negative 1. So the gradient of the tangent is 3 by dividing both sides of the equation by a negative third. A quick way to find the gradient of the tangent is simply to invert the gradient of the radius and multiply by minus 1. Now we can find the equation of the tangent. Use the equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Substitute the values for y as negative 1 and x1 as negative 2. Simplify to get y equals to 3x plus 5. If we prefer, we can use equation y equals mx plus c, and you will get the same answer. Example 2. Given two circles with the equation shown, show that they touch externally. A diagram will help us understand what is being asked and how to answer it.
If the two circles touch externally, this is what they would look like. Let the center of the one circle be A and the other B. The radius big R of the first circle and the radius small r of the second circle can be joined to make a line. That line will be equal to the distance a and b. But if the distance a b is longer than the sum of the radii, then the circles are not touching. We can start by finding the center and radius of each circle. For the circle center A, complete the square of the equation. First rearrange it to have the x's together and the y's together. Put the constants together and the other side of the equation. Add half of the coefficient of the x value and square it. We also add half of the coefficient of the y value and square it. But we must add these values to the other side of the equation as well. Then simplify. We get x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9. On the other side of the equation, we get negative 9 plus 1 plus 9, which is just 1. The two trinomials can now be written as perfect squares to get x plus 1 all squared plus y minus 3 all squared equal to 1. So, the center point A has the coordinates negative 1, 3 and the radius is 1 unit. Now do the same for the circle with center B. Complete the square on the equation. First, rearrange so that the terms in x are together and the terms in y are together with constants moved to the other side of the equation. Add half of the coefficient of the x value and square it. Add half of the coefficient of the y value and square it. Add these values to the other side of the equation as well. Then simplify. We get x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 equal to 4. The two trinomials can now be written as perfect squares to get x minus 2 all squared plus y minus 3 all squared equal to 4. So the center of the circle with center B has the coordinates 2, 3, and the radius is 2 units. If we add the 2 radii, we get the value of 3 units. Now we compare this with the value we get for the distance between the centers of the circles using the distance formula. The distance between the centers A and B equals the sum of the radii. The only way this is possible is if the circles touch each other at one point externally.